highly productive. I always seek out new ways of cutting out unwanted time. So when Notion released their API framework, it provided the much needed fresh inspiration for rewiring my task management system. As I began the rewiring process, I realized that there is a much deeper connection between Notion, APIs and us as users. And that is going to change the way we think and act towards productivity. At the center of it all will be a task manager inside of Notion. But things will significantly be different from the way you currently use Notion. Part of that is the way Notion introduced themselves to us as an all-in-one workspace. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic market positioning since Notion has functionality that you don't find in other apps like Todoist, Trello, Asana or Evernote as examples. You've seen new users flocking to Notion but after some initial excitement started seeing functionality gaps and performance issues. Users started to look at Notion with a versus lens which meant one exists while the other sunsets. To support the user pressure, Notion started rolling out functionality and fixing performance issues and in a sense got on to a hamster wheel. In the meanwhile, users' disappointment could be seen by switching to the other no-code providers but which left them even more disappointed or confused. After Notion launched their APIs, the switch got flicked from versus to collaborative. This gave birth to the possibilities of collaboration and creation of a symbiotic relationship. This discovery led me to make significant API level changes to my task management system, which wasn't at all possible just about a month ago. In daily practice, this could mean that you need to work pretty hard to make changes to your current template and make it work seamlessly. The good thing is that I have done all the hard work putting in real world scenarios and creating a standout template in this genre. And more importantly, you get a ready access to the template and a very detailed user guide to follow a quick step by step process to get things going in no time. Notion's traditional capture system was not very inspiring with a suboptimal front end in the mobile for example. APIs have now made a wonderful change possible. Hey Siri, schedule catch up at 6 p.m. today. I scheduled your appointment for today from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. The appointment is called catch up. Why are you not talking to me? Like you are talking to Siri and Google Assistant these days? Have you forgotten about me? As you can see, Notion has given us permission to create data entry with just your voice while interacting with your Apple Watch, your mobile, or a voice assistant like Google. What's more, it extends it to the use of a UI of your own choosing like Todoist, Fantastical, or your native mobile app or a Google Calendar. It doesn't even restrict you from creating your own integration or using a service provider like Notion Automation, Automate.io and Zapier. To make this experience even more seamless, I pre-configured Notion Automations directly into the task management system so that you really don't have to do it. I chose Notion Automations because it has a very low fixed price for unlimited transactions between Google Calendar and Notion. To extend this further, I started using Calendly to avoid going back and forth with my invitee on acceptable time for meetings. Besides, the option that I'm choosing is free. Once you've set up the system or have bulk data entered your first set of records, you switch to access of information and interacting with it. Fantastical, for example, provided me with the best widgets for my iPhone and the iPad. Todoist provided me with a clean layout for reviewing and doing tasks. And Google Calendar provided me with my desired monthly view. When I want to get into details, Notion is always there to maximize my thirst for information. What's more, when you want to send that spark of an idea through quickly, just email it to Notion directly. And when you see that nice article on the web that you want to read later, just web clip it. Both of them land straight into the task management system that allows you to bring it up like a task or link it back into a project if that inspires you. At any given point in time, you can trash it if you're no longer interested in that item. Because the whole thing is a two-way sync, this whole ecosystem is starting to develop with multiple 
by associations between apps. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what the origin or the workflow is. The system is always there to help you navigate in and out. Over time, I've set up project management nicely inside of Notion, with projects and project tasks appearing side by side. With APIs, even this syncs back into the Google Calendar. Earlier, because I had to set up a record as a repeatable task, I couldn't really use a checkbox. But with this new system, the checkbox method is fully functional. So you can check the tasks off straight from your calendar without having to go into the system too much. Now, the system works really, really fast. That's because some of the horsepower required for creating recurring tasks moved from Notion to Google Calendar. Interestingly, early on, I realized that recurring tasks are created with events, bill payments, birthdays, anniversaries, and habit trackers. So I set up a backbone in the earlier GTD system. With this, I transitioned the whole thing into Google Calendar to free up precious resources. And so Notion responds much, much faster. And it's really noticeable. There is one more pleasant surprise. The ability to see things offline for calendar items through Google Calendar. Fantastical, to do is with a direct data sync that happens through the cloud. That means that you have access to the data even when you are in an airplane. Notion did not provide an audible alert or a notification just when you needed it. But then these apps have just stepped in to provide just that. David Allen's five-step GTD system is brilliant to see a bigger picture. While all of the apps provided you with instant gratification, GTD provides you with a compass. Inside this five-step process, you have the ability to control, to schedule your day, your week, your month, or longer in much better detail. For example, when the habit task hands off from the Google Calendar, your progress can be seen by month, by habit, inside of the review section of the GTD system. Again, when you mark off the text as someday may be, next action, quick actions, or projects, you have complete control, including archival and moving them into trash or clearing them off from your database. Your biorhythm determines the quality of your execution at various points in the day. By reflecting on your daily tasks in line with your energy levels and quality of execution for different activity types at different times of the day, you can get the biggest bang for the buck. Since Notion responds very quickly these days on the phone or on the iPad, access is never a problem even if you're on the road. Calendars are all about promise. The checkbox is one of the ways of confirming that promise. But sometimes you mention the broad item inside of your calendar to block time. But there are subtasks that you perform on a daily basis. I capture that through toggle. I am lazy in the sense that I have pre-configured buttons on my stream deck and I just need to press a button. But you could have a toggle window open and data into that when you want to do it as well. I have integrated Toggle into Google Calendar through Zapier's free plan and use that information inside of Motion to review how I actually spent my day. I also have a more detailed MIS available within the Toggle application. The entire Notion API framework has allowed me to look at task management in a completely different way. But I just wanted to highlight here that I've merely scratched the surface in this video. So if you're investing in yourself, and you want to know more about the juicier parts of managing your time more efficiently, pick up your copy of the template and the user guide. Details are in the description below. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.